All right, guys, in this video, I will show you what, uh, what are the tags, what they do and how I am using them. I want to say that I have copied exactly the same uh, text that we have in the page example, but you should never do this. Never, never, ever copy your posts. This is very bad sign for Google and you should never, really never do this. One of my websites disappeared for about a month from Google because I have uh, copied one or two articles from somewhere. So never do this. I'm doing this simply to show you the example. As you know, you can look at my real websites and you can see uh, how I'm, what I did there, exactly what I did there. So here I'm simply going to explain how I'm using the tags and why I'm using them. So I simply took this text as a dummy text. I'm not going to publish it. I'm not going to use it. And in real, I will never use the same text twice. So if you want to do this, simply write a new text on the same topic. It may, it will not be very, very different, but at least you will use different words. So you have to scroll down here and go to the tags section right here. So. The way you add tags is you simply write them and you be careful and use uh, upper uppercase letters whenever you have to, because the way you write your tags will be the exact way that they are going to be, that they are going to be taken by Google. So I will use this list with uh, the keywords that we prepared earlier, and I'm going to use all of these keywords as tags. So we have Simera online, enter. Then we have Simera photo, photo editor. Simera camera, camera Simera. Then Simera cam camera and photo. Come on, photo editor and Simera photo, Simera editor. We had all of these under this post. All right, so now that we have added uh, six, seven tags to this post, let's go ahead and update it. And let's open the post itself. I want to show you what the tags do. Let's go down here. Here are our tags. So if you click on this tag, if you click on this tag and go right here, it will open the same post again. You can, if you click on this tag, it will again open the same post. So why is this useful to you? This is useful to you because this exact same post, where is it? this exact same post, you will get indexed by Google for seven seven different links. So this post will get will go on Google for with seven different links, and each of these links is targeting different keywords. As you can see here, uh, blah 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 site slash tag slash Simera camera. Here it's Simera online. Here it's Simera photo editor. Here it's Simera camera and photo editor and so on. So you will get this exact same post indexed in Google for seven different links. And this is good because this way you can easily target a lot of keywords with one simple post. I am usually doing this when I add articles that are not related to, to my main keywords. Uh, or that are not related to the main subject at all, simply to get a lot of pages indexed. Now, the difference between posts and pages, like I said in an earlier video, is that pages don't have tags. You can't put a tag on a page. And that is the reason why I am creating a separate page for each of my main keywords. So as you can see here, there is no tag section.